Why you tripping, 2K? Shut up, punk, before I make it even harder to pull Persona cards. Man, that's messed up. Why don't you just give us back quick grapples? What quick grapples? All right, I cannot be the only one that's missing the quick grapple feature. Not only does it aid in mixing up the office and making things a little less predictable, but even approaching things from a purely aesthetic standpoint, quick grapples not only had a more realistic look, but they also allow for more true to life pacing in terms of gameplay. Because let's be honest man, having to perform a collar and elbow tie up just to perform moves like a scoop slam or an arm drag is kinda wild man and I don't mean that in a good way. These typically fall in line of the more fast paced offense. So there's really no need of a tie up of any sorts. Another thing I would love to see come from quick grapples is the ability to chain or combo certain moves and actions together. So flicking the right stick in certain directions during certain moves will act much like the pin combo option. For this example, we're going to use a standard arm drag. Of course, leaving the stick in a neutral position will see the move play out as normal. But let's say flicking the stick to the right will allow you to do a follow-up arm drag, more so the bump and feed wrestling style. You should be able to chain up to three of these arm drags in succession. But say you decide to flick the stick to the left and you follow up the arm drag with a limb targeting style move such as a leg drop to the arm. Down on the right stick might see you transitioning that arm drag into a arm based submission move. I just really wanted to paint a picture of the possibilities. Keeping it all the way real I'm not saying all of the quick grapples have to have these type of interactions. For instance, something like a snap suplex, you may be able to chain that into the three amigos, but that's probably the only option you would have with that move. As opposed to something like a power bomb where you may be able to chain together a triple power bomb, but you would also have the option to chain that same power bomb into a Boston Crab combo, or you can pull off the Matt Riddle style power bomb into the Final Flash combo. A German suplex, you would have the option to go suplex city, or you can opt for the German suplex rainmaker combo. I think you guys get the picture I'm trying to paint here. I feel like something like this would not only allow 2K to kind of break up some of those long winded animations that we have and kind of relinquish that decision to the players to decide how they want to branch their offense. So not only do we get more control, but we get a pretty cool way to expand our move sets. I mean, it's just a W. But there's also another caveat to this, possibly one even bigger and more important to the WGC. And that is this could be another legit way to introduce chain wrestling back into the series. Because if we're keeping with the premise of giving offensive wrestlers a way to chain grapples, then naturally there needs to be a way to counter that. The simplest way to explain this is if you can successfully counter your opponent's chain grapple, then essentially you would not only counter that move but you would also have a chance to continue the current chain from the offensive perspective. So for this scenario let's take a standard arm wrench. Now let's say you reverse your opponent's arm wrench attempt. This would not only see you countering his arm wrench with an arm wrench of your own but you would also have the option of going into your own grapple chain from this point. Now for the sake of a better explanation let's say your opponent is actually successful at completing the arm wrench. And from there he attempts to chain the arm wrench into a hammer lock. If you successfully counter said hammer lock then you would actually perform a counter hammer lock thus putting you in control of the chain. So as you can see this could kind of create a cool back and forth without it being too intrusive. Especially in terms of the pacing because that's one of the biggest gripes I hear people complaining about that these kind of features make the game a little bit too slow and monotonous. But I'm a firm believer in it's not so much the features themselves, it's more so the way that they are implemented. So it kind of falls on the dev team to implement these kind of things in a way to where they can be fun while maintaining a balance and pacing. Bottom line, I would just love to see Quick Grapples return because as we talked about, not only is this a way to diversify but expand on the offense as well as showing how it can lead to a reimagining of some much wanted features that we would love to see make a return to the series as well as some new gameplay elements. So this is basically just me shooting my shot to show not only the face value but the potential value that this feature holds. WGC, post it in the comments down below and let your thoughts be known. What do you guys feel about the quick grapple feature or the lack thereof? Would you like to see this return or do you feel like the game is better without it? 
As always, I would like to truly thank you guys for rocking with your boy, man. I appreciate y'all watching these videos, commenting, all of that, man. So it really means a lot to me. Road to 1K on the way. We almost there. So if you have not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Leave a thumbs up. Really helps out the channel. Love y'all. God bless. Remember to try to be a blessing to somebody. Yeet.